welcome to my cooking tutorial. Well, kind of cooking tutorial. I don't really know how to cook, but here's my kind of, sort of, how to decorate cookies. So, about a couple months ago, I made some Halloween cookies and I decorated them, and they actually turned out pretty great. So then I thought, how about we make a video of this for Christmas cookies? So that's what I'm doing today. As you can see here, we have our um, lovely, you know, great cake mix. Uh, it's vanilla. The sugar cookies are all vanilla. All right, we're gonna, so we're gonna put this whole mix into the bowl. Again, it's not really gonna be the greatest homemade because I don't know the new recipes. Decorating, not how to make. So next, we're gonna do um, one third cup of butter. That's melted. I mean, it looks pretty gross. So let's get rid of it. We're gonna put it in. We have the egg. That I hope I don't get any eggshells in there. So next step, just gonna mix it really good. I hope that some sort of cookie dough forms. And if it doesn't, then I've already found it. So let's hope we've got something to do. So now that we have our great doughy mixture, um, I think it's done, we are going to switch over to get some flour and we're gonna cut out some fun Christmassy shapes. So first I'm gonna show you the shapes that we have today. So first we got a little Christmas tree, you know, that's the classic. And next we have a candy cane, which I personally think are really good, even though they're not gonna be peppermint flavored. And after that, we have stockings. And I think those are really cute. And then also we have a star. And I know stars, like, you're like, that's not Christmas. Well, it is if you go like that. That do so. You know, you have the star on top of the tree. And then we're just going to make some, like, kind of jaggedy circle ones here. And maybe we could, like, write happy. I was about to say happy Christmas. Maybe we could write Merry Christmas on top of them. And then, or, like, Santa hat, something like that. I'm gonna start by opening up our flour here. This is already a mess. And I'm gonna, I have a cut on now, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just taking a, about a hand size full of flour and just throw it down. And then halfway through, I'm gonna realize we don't need that much. And we'll put the rest of it back in the jar. I'm going to take about, you know, like a little handful of some doughy dough and we're going to lay it down here. We are going to start making some candy cane cutouts now. So, get it rolled out. I'm going to press make sure that cut it good. So now we have built our first tray. Um, did too good with them not falling apart. And we're gonna put them in the oven. Here we have our first batch. I think they came out all right. Um, not really too burnt of you. And now for what you guys are really watching for. So I'm gonna be using a um, red icing packet, which um, just has three little knobs here. I already cut the top one off. I'm going to make it this on the smallest little loop as possible.
so now we have our Yamalicious stocking stuff on me. And, but, <laughs> but it is not done because as you can see, there's nothing on the top. So I'm gonna go with the classic colors. So for that, I got this um, yummy whipped uh, fluffy white. Now we have applied the lovely white to the top, but I know what you're thinking, not very professional. So I'm gonna do an outline now with this cookie midnight icing. We're gonna just go over the top of it. And it's not coming out, so this is, this is where I'm gonna get frustrated. We might have to twist this one, because I used this one for the Halloween a little while ago. Uh, cut the top. It worked like literally right before. I was testing it. I tested it right before. I'm just gonna outline the top of it. We had a mini jam in the black, but no problem. Just find um, one of these, one of these, one of these pokey things or a uh, paper clip. And just kind of pick out all of those two around. And just outline in black like I've been trying to do for the last 10 minutes. And that will make your cookie look a little bit more um, professional. So you have this Super cute stocking cookie. If you want to go take this a step farther, you could write a name on it or do like a little design, like maybe like, um, you know, any kind of design you want. Polka dots, stripes, lines. So that I think that would just bring your cookie to the next level. For this next cookie, I'm gonna try to use one of these decorating tips because I don't have one of these bags for white. So like I said for this stocking cookie, said you can make it longer, I'm going to write Chad on it because that's my brother's name and it's only four letters. But everyone else's name is also kind of only four letters. I could write Ty too, but it's okay. Oh. Should I put this C at the top or the bottom? left to right so I'm it. So here's your little stocking cookie that you can make and it looks like really cool. All your friends are here like, how did you do that? And like, I'm not a cook. So if, you, if I could do this, you could do this. And you just gotta get some small icing tips and you have like the best cookies and you can make them with everyone in your family's name. Um, you can make something saying like mom, dad, you know. So I'm gonna actually do what I said before and write um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I think, I think I'm gonna write Happy Holidays on this one. Or Let It Snow, that'd be really cute. I like that song. You can write Let It Snow, it could also be like a January cookie. Um, it snows in February here, which is awful. I'm gonna write the Let It 
in black and the snow in red. representation of what I had put it down and it fell on top of the cookie. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but it did say let it snow. The next cookie that I'm making today is a Christmas tree. And for that, I'm going to take, I only got white icing today. And for that, I'm going to use some green food coloring. And so I have a handy dandy bowl here. Some of this icing into this bowl. But leave them out of the way because we need the way. And then I'm gonna do um, a drop or two of the green. Okay, well that was actually a really good amount because now we have kind of this greeny green. Grinch green, so that's what we're gonna call it. And you can now color it to your tree. Fill in the tree the best I can. I'm going to start by making some red ornaments. Just like circles. This is our cute little Christmas tree, and I think it looks really nice. If you hold it up, they will start to drip down and look more like ornaments, but that's okay. If you go in for an ornament, you feel just like kind of hold it for a second. They're already kind of starting to drip down. My star is dripping down, so that's not really making me happy, but so now you have your cute little Christmas tree. So the next cookie I'm doing today is going to be the candy cane. And again, this is going to be one of your more, 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 more simple ones. So I'm just going to start by um, making, filling in some red lines and kind of making outlines of where I want the red. Here is your candy cane cookie. Um, this was probably the simplest cookie out of all of them. Just gotta do some red and white stripes and they still look really cute and you definitely look at them and think, I want that in my stomach. Okay guys, so those were all the kinds of cookies I'm gonna be making today. If you want to uh, see them again, you have your little stocking. And again, you could do like a pattern if you want, you could write a name, you could do whatever you want with it. I think mean, it looks pretty cute. The second cookie was our Christmas tree, which I personally like the best, which actually I don't know because I really, the stocking ones are not pretty cute, but I like Christmas trees a lot because they're very colorful. So, here's your cute little tree. Then our Candy cane, which of course is just very winter and cute, and everyone loves candy canes, even if they don't taste like peppermint, and they taste like honey cookie. And of course, we cannot forget our fail of the day, which was not my personal favorite moment, but it might have been yours. So, <laughs> if it was yours, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my first ever kind of baking slash decorating tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see more of this kind of video, let me know in the comments. 
because I would love to do more. I obviously love decorating cookies, even if I'm not like the greatest at it. It's still a lot of fun for me to do. So let me know which was your favorite cookie, which design you like the best. And if you tried this, please post a picture on Instagram if you tried any one of my designs and tag me because I would love to see them. And I will do my best to like and comment on all of them. And as always, remember to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And let me know what you guys want to see more of. Test it.